Hey you, glad you're back. If you haven't been here before, I'm Bobby Jean. Let's say you're driving along, beautiful day, like it is today. You don't want to drive anymore, you just want to tour the town. Get out there and breathe the air. Yeah, we don't want to be in the car, do we now? Well, so let's park this car and get out in it. Got something I want to show you. This is a folding electric bike. This is the little iGo electric bike powered by Samsung. If you go to this website, you can learn more about it. Let's take a closer look, shall we? One of the first things that really stand out when you look at this bike is the tires. The tires are four inches wide and they are all-terrain tires. And because of the variable air pressure in them, they also add to the suspension, making a very comfortable ride. You can also see on the front forks, there is front end suspension. Pretty good amount of travel. It's got a quick release on the front tire. This is an all aluminum welded frame. This is a very low center step through, making it very easy to get on the bike. You don't have to throw a leg over it like you do most of the men's bikes. The seat is adjustable and has a quick release for that. Also, there's a little bit of travel here, a little shock absorber underneath the seat which adds to the comfort of the ride, which I thought was really nice, actually. Also down on the front wheel, you can see there's mechanical disc brakes, front and back. Got a little headlight here, and a headlight system on the handlebars as well as a horn. This one's got a few extra accessories on it. On the front part here, we've got a little phone bag where you put your phone in, it's clear on the front, so you can see the display with a shade. A little storage pouch behind that. Cleverly mounted. Pretty much right in the center of gravity there you have a 48 volt 13 amp hour lithium battery on the back wheel you can see disc brakes there's also derailers there for your eight speed transmission of the bike right here on the rear wheel back where the axle would be it's a 500 watt rear geared electric motor it's a bafang motor so there's basically three ways that you can ride this bike you can ride it as a traditional bike you can just shift your gears right here on this lever on this handlebar pedal away with the pedal just like a traditional bike another way you can ride this is through simple throttle assist to unlock and turn on the battery put the key in here rotate it there here you can check your battery level I've been riding it around quite a bit today <laughs> and right here we power up our keypad our control panel press and hold on the control panel gives you your speed up here in kilometers per hour or miles per hour the odometer the power of this unit and this is your pedal assist like I said, you can ride this bike like a normal bike, or you could add some pedal assist. So you start pedaling, and you can adjust that the engine will give you a little bit of a pedal assist up to a low speed, or you can adjust it higher, so that this will give you a lot of pedal assist up to a higher speed. So when you begin pedaling, the power pedal assist will kick in and help you off right from the start. And you'll continue to cruise at that speed while you're pedaling, if you pull either brake lever on the left or the right front and back brake, there are switches in the brake levers and that will dis disengage pedal assist and it will just coast. Once you begin riding with some pedal assist, it will help you get off the line there and get going at a low speed and you can just pedal it. It assists your pedaling while you're riding it. On the left handlebar handle, just to the inner part of it, this is the throttle. So if you were to goose this, uh, the bike would want to go. So if you are pedaling slowly and you need a boost, a, a boost of speed, you simply grab your throttle and twist it and it will 
give you more speed for the more you twist it. And if you release it, it will go back to just the low setting of pedal assist. The other gadgetry over here on the right side of the uh, handlebar there, that's just Bluetooth uh, devices that the owner's attached so that her phone could be Bluetooth and she could stay hand-free while the phone's in the bag down below. The, uh, the light setup that is mounted back here also has brake light and turn signal functionality. Uh, the bags that she's added on here, the soft bag set. Uh, I don't know if they have a hard bag set. I haven't looked at the accessory, all of the accessories available for this unit. But uh, the soft bags here uh, have a ton of storage. Uh, if you run out to get groceries or you want to go with a picnic or whatever, you got plenty of room in there to store everything. If you don't want any pedal assist, you can just turn that pedal assist off. And if you don't want it, you don't have to pedal it off. You can just use the throttle to motor around like a scooter. Road test. Okay, let me show you how easy this is to ride. Kickstand. Key on. Control panel. On. Step through, foot on the pedal, give it a small amount of assist, say just one notch. So you start pedaling, it detects that you're pedaling, so the assist kicks on the motor, and as long as you pedal, the motor will pedal with you, or does the, helps you do the work. As you begin to climb uphill, it gets harder to pedal because the assist is set to low. assistance Let's hit the plus sign and it pedals now we can pedal faster now I said I didn't want to pedal at all I just grabbed the throttle twist it yeah wait till we go One of the main things I forgot to mention is this is really, really fun. It is so fun. I mean, the torque is, the acceleration is great. This pond up here is really cool. Let me show you something. Look at that. This thing's full of catfish. Look at them all. What size is it? whole pond is full of them. Alright, I'm ready for some water. Let's go sit down and talk about it. And we're back. And it's time for... Pros and Cons! Keep in mind there are a number of electric bikes out there available there's different bikes with different prices so do your homework shop around a little bit on the iGo US site that bike bare bones is listed at $18.99 there's other cheaper ones out there different features gotta shop around pros 
folds easily into the back of the car it goes. It doesn't require gas, insurance, or registration. That's going to save you a lot of money right there. Uh, the power and the range on a charge is going to give you up to about 37 miles, depending on how much is uphill. If you want to use it to commute, take the charger with you, and when you get to where you're going to work, plug the charger in, and when it's time to go home, it's all charged up, ready to go. Great torque and speed. When you hit that throttle and ask for full power, it delivers right, right away. I mean, it's got a nice, uh, powerful torque to it. It's all terrain, and I went off-road a little bit with it, and it handled really well. Uh, those tires can run anywhere from 5 to 30 PSI. So you can, hit, you can go over some really, so it can handle some pretty rough terrain. Uh, while giving you still a comfortable ride. Eight-speed Shimano gear with front and rear disc brakes. You run out of power, you ride it like a bike. It's got a nice big welded cargo rack on the rear. Plenty of room for a bag or briefcase or whatever you want to throw in there. Handling and comfort. Cons. Not a lot of cons on this for me. The only one thing that really stood out was the tires can be a bit noisy. Uh, also, the weight of the bike without a battery is 51.6 pounds and the battery weighs 8.4 pounds. If you're trying to load that into your car, that could be a problem with some people. Other than that, I enjoyed it. I had a great time on it. Had fun. Hope you enjoyed it. I think it's a great option for, especially when it comes to saving space. I love the range that you can get out of it. And in the long run, you save a lot of money. So if I left anything out, be sure to hit me down in the comments and let us know. If you enjoyed that video and you would like to see more like it down the road, please crush that subscribe button. Join the club here. We're a great family. Everybody looks out for each other. We have a good time. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Email down in the description below. I'll get back to you. That's it. That's all I got. I'm Bobby Jean. Thanks for watching.